Now let's discuss in this lesson the different types of cable formation. There are two main types of cable formation. One which is the flat type and the second one is a tree foil uh, formation. Okay. Now, as you can see here, and this is really, really important. You need to understand the difference between a formation and the multi-core cable. Okay. So as an example, the, as a tree foil um, formation, as you can see, three cores. Okay. This one is one cable. This one is another cable and this one is another cable. Okay. So they are three separate cables. Remember, three separate cables, not one big cable. Like this one, this formation is a tree foil uh, formation. As you can see, one, two, and three. They are three cables, okay? Three separate cables, but we put them in the triangular form, okay? However, this one is called a multi, multi, core cable it has the three phases in one large cable the three phases are in one large cable however this one is a three single core cables so they are three separate cables okay three single core cables okay this one is a multi-core which carries all of this in this lesson we talk about this one which is a three foil or the three in the triangular form uh, formation okay and second one is having the three phases a b c or r s t separate from each other a space between them okay now we would like to understand the difference between this case and this one the first one which is the three foil formation you will find that here between the three phases they have the same distance between them so as you can see the distance here this is a small distance is same as the same distance here same as the same distance here so they have the same distance between each other now how does this help us this will help us in the magnetic field and the circulating currents will be the same for all of the phases Okay, so they suffer the same magnetic field and same circulating currents. Okay, and this is really important. Why it is important? It is important in the balance of the three phases. They suffer from the same uh, conditions. Okay, now this configuration is used, this uh, trifoil uh, phase formation is commonly used for the low voltage and the medium voltage up to 132 kilovolt. Why? Because it is easy of installation and it, it reduces the space required compared to the flat. You can see the flat large spaces between them, not like this, not the triangle form, which requires less space than the flat. However, in installing single core cables, we have one, two, three, three cores uh, or three single core cables means that the touching of cables you can see that these three cables can be touching each other or there is a small this space between each other in both cases since they are very close to each other and each one dissipates heat energy okay because current is flowing through them which means all of them will dissipate heat energy and since they are close to each other compared to the flat form you can see large spaces between the cores, which means less heat dissipation. This means that the current capacity, current, current, current carrying capacity of the trifoil, uh, trifoil formation is lower than flat. And what does this mean? It means this one can carry less current than the flat, or it is more related to something is called or known as the durating factor of cables we will discuss the durating factor in another video you will learn about rating factors now second formation is called the flat formation in flat formation as you can see here 
uh, spaces between uh, conductors are not the same here similar to here yes however from here to here not the same okay between two closed phases the same space okay now what is the problem of this formation or the flat formation the central phase this one this phase in the center what it's a problem it's a problem is that it is affected by the magnetic fields coming from the neighboring phases this uh, cable or this core uh, this single core and this single core their magnetic field both of them are affecting heavily the flat or the middle one okay now what is the problem of this is that the middle one will suffer from higher temperature higher running temperature and this will lead to voltage imbalance the voltage of the middle one will suffer due to the presence of heat energy okay now how can we solve this problem you will find this uh, problem solved in transmission lines by using the uh, phase transposition phase transposition what does this mean let's say we have this flat configuration for the three phase a b c right so b is the middle one which is suffering from uh, the uh, flat formation or the high temperature due to the magnetic fields of a and c a and c are affecting b so b suffers from imbalance voltage imbalance and high running temperature now in order to solve after some distance after some distance we start transposition of the phases or switching or exchanging the phases as an example instead of having b in the middle we put b in the position of c and c is returned to the position of a and a goes to the middle so again as you can see b is the first one suffering okay then after some distance we make a we exchange these phases and they make a in the middle which means it will suffer from the magnetic fields okay so now a have the problem of or has the problem of imbalance okay then we again after some distance we both c in the middle so as you can see b suffered a suffered and c suffered which will end in the end all of them will have the same uh, effect or suffer from the same effect equally okay and you will find this phase transposition occurs a lot in transmission lines okay in transmission system okay since all of these cables are separate from each other okay now as you can see this will help us reducing this effect however you have to know that spaces are required for such installations okay that's why in uh, low volt system it is very limited in the industrial and commercial installation usually we use this first configuration of the tree foil and not only this but we usually use the multi-core and instead of having three separate cables we use one big multi-core okay that's why flat formation also can be used only by measures dnos or the distribution network operators in their distribution network now in the next lesson we will have more about the durating factor in cables due to the formation we will just talk about durating in formation or cable formation